Hello dear friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Today I would be discussing with you all about the criteria for geotechnical investigations, how to propose the depth of foundations in them after the investigation has been completed and the permissible allowed settlement limits of foundations of tall concrete buildings as per Indian Standard Code IS 16700-2017. Now, the geotechnical investigations, you all know, as India is a developing nation worldwide, lot of developments are taking place because of the scarcity of the land. Now, the focus is on the vertical growth. That is, because of the requisitions of the residential and commercial spaces, people are trying to make the maximum out of the land cost and they are building multi-story tall buildings. Therefore, this particular code IS 16700-2017 says that as per clause 9.3 of it, the geotechnical investigation must necessarily include, that is the soil investigation report, must definitely include liquefaction potential analysis of the site and as well estimating soil spring constants and estimating modulus of subgrade reaction. But now, what is more important is that as per clause 9.3.1 of IS 16700-2017, the geotechnical investigation of such tall concrete buildings, the boreholes shall be spaced at the rate of 30 meter center to center from one another within the plan area of the building and minimum three boreholes per tower shall be explored at the site subject to the condition that the depth of borehole must necessarily be at least one and a half times the width of the raft foundation the anticipated as per the plan area of the building that is one and a half times the width of the raft foundation in soil and 30 meter in rock now when you come to proposing the depth of foundation for tall buildings, there are two options basically available. One is raft foundation and the other is pile foundation. So, clause 9.4 of Indian Standard Code IS 16700-2017 says that the embedded depth of foundation of such tall buildings shall be at least 1 upon 15 of the height of the building for raft foundations if raft foundation is the proposal and should be 1 upon 20 of the height of the building for pile and pile raft foundation if the pile or pile raft foundation is to be given for that very particular structure subject to the condition that it excludes the pile length but this requirement may be relaxed when the foundation rests on hard rock or when there is no uplift under any portion of the raft in any service road combination provided the minimum competent founding starter requirement is fulfilled. And one more important thing which the court says is the expansion joints should preferably be avoided in basements of tall buildings. Now coming over to my last slide of this presentation, the settlement of foundations as per clause 9.8 of this Indian Standard Code IS 16700-2017 says that the maximum vertical settlement of raft or piled raft foundations shall comply with the requirements of IS1904 and IS12070. However, the maximum vertical settlement in soils may be allowed up to 125 mm in raft or piled raft foundation subject to maximum angular distortion of 1.500. However, this maximum vertical allowed settlement in rock is 50 mm. So, dear friends, I think you must have uh, got a glimpse of the latest Indian Standard Code IS 16700-2017 which is which deals about the tall concrete buildings and Keep on sharing and subscribing to my YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you. Thank you very much.